Hey YouTube, welcome to another Hot Wheels unboxing video. I know, I know, it's been a while since we last done it. Well, by a while, I'm pretty sure it's been a year ago, but I'll explain the reason of that. The thing is, I've kind of like gotten a lot of Hot Wheels off these recordings and just didn't feel like the need to like record them because like one, they were mostly just like one cars that I found throughout stores and I just didn't feel like it would just be worse just to w make a one minute video just to like do all that. And secondly, it's just like kind of left me-ish. But with the recent Hot Wheels poll that I got, you guys can see via my Instagram. So we are back with this, I guess. I will try to make more of these videos throughout the throughout this year and many future years to come. So enough talking, let's get to the Hot Wheels. Our first thing we're gonna unbox is the Night Burners 5 pack. And this is the 2022 version, not the 2023. I've been waiting so long to get this thing because like it is one of the most insanest five packs I think I've ever witnessed. Or like this was probably like the five pack that made me like had like the most amount of anger and like <laughs> like just me being annoyed at my luck. So yeah, let's <laughs> Alright. We'll put the trash to the side because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see, but yeah. Alright, our first car is the Alpha Pursuit. Now keep in mind the camera is a bit different angle, so yeah. So first car is the Alpha Pursuit. You guys know me, I'm not a huge fan of fantasy castings, but I'll give it to Hot we to the Hot Wheels team. They made a pretty decent police car. And I've actually am a huge fan of police back in the days. And by back in the days, I mean like as a child. To, these, to this day, I'm still okay with them. I'm like still chill, cool and such. But hey, for a car that was designated for the Hot Wheels team, they did a great job with this. I hope to see more releases on it because honestly, it is an amazing car. Hell, maybe even we'll even see it without the police livery and stuff. But we'll just have to wait and see. So that's the Alpha Pursuit. We'll place all the cars around here. Our next car is probably one of two of the most hyped cars. It is the Mazda Savannah RX-7 FC3S. Okay, I'm pre I pretty much did read the base here, but yeah, you get the point. This car kind of reminds me of like 2021's mainline because like we had this one in like the white color and then a blue color eventually. And the white variant also had the same wheels as this. So it's definitely pretty amazing to see this. And yeah, in this yellow color, I approve. So good job, Mazda. Our next car is also a highlight car. It is the 1998 Honda Prelude in this ghost white color. Sick JDM out here. It it's honestly one of the coolest JDM cars. I know for those who are like fans, I know for those who are my Discord friends, I f friends, I said that Prelude was absolute garbage. I'm kidding, okay? It's one of their coolest cars. I just do I just say the Prelude's trash just because for fun. Obviously, sick car. Really hope they make more of these things cuz yeah, amazing. Next car is probably my most underrated car. It is the Datsun 620. I almost said the Mazda Repu, just like the last time I did this. <laughs> Anyways, the Mazda... Oh my god, why did I say Mazda? The Datsun 620. There we go, finally got it. This one's a bit interesting. I used to didn't like this casting as much when it was first released that this 5-pack would be on. But now, honestly, it's pretty decent for a classic truck. I mean, I've liked the Mazda Repu from 2022, so it'd be no surprise if I liked this one too. So, honestly, not half bad pickup. Great job, Dotsy. And last car would, would you guys would assume my favorite, the McLaren Speedtail. In this purple color, we got the tampos in the front. I know you guys can't see it too well, but yeah, you can, you can trust me, there's tampo works on it. We get the McLaren logo here, the cool blacked out wheels, that's sick as hell. One of the coolest McLaren speed tails that I've seen, that the Hot Wheels team has done. Alright, so that's the five packs right here. Out of these five, 
I actually have a tough time choosing my favorites. I know a lot of people might say the Speed Tail is the best, but I think I have to go with either the Datsun 620 or the Honda Prelude. The Speed Tail is good, but these two just hold the crown for like sickest design almost ever. All right, now let's get on to the fun bit, unboxing some main lines. All right, let's start it off with the Volvo P800, P1800 Gasser. Let's open this one up, and you guys know how much Hot Wheels carding is. You always open it up, and then there's like no opening. Like, we love those moments as a collector. Anyways, here is the Gasser. Pretty decent car from Volvo, even though we haven't seen much of the Volvo brand in Hot Wheels. We actually started seeing them a lot back in 2020. So it's finally good to see another Swedish brand other than Koenigsegg to join the Hot Wheels line. Pretty decent car overall. I hope they make more of these things because although I'm not a huge fan of the Gassers, they're, they, they're still decent. They're still decent. All right, uh, next car is the 1980 El Camino. Let's open this up and if I, oh wow, we actually got one. My one and only time I actually got in Hot Wheels case unboxing perfect. Anyway, or like packaging perfect, you get the idea. Anyways, El Camino, low suspension truck. You got the truck bed right here. Perfect, perfect blue color. Great to represent the 1980s if you guys are a huge fan of them. Sick, sick truck, actually. I'm a little sad there's no tampos, but hey, you can't have them all, as, or you can't get everything in a car, as they say. All right. Our next car is the 1980s. Oh, wait, no, this isn't a year. <laughs> Whoops. It's the Mazda 787B. Let's open this one up. And fun fact, this is a new and mainline car, actually. So, and uh, we know how much Hot Wheels packaging is. It's totally not rigged in any way, shape, or form. So, yeah. So, this, so like I said before, this is a new and mainline car. So, what does that mean? Well, it originally is a car culture car, and then it became a mainline, which is actually pretty funny, actually. Because, like, we've had a lot of cars throughout the years that have been to new and main lines, all that stuff. So Mazda 789, it's not half bad, but it's, it's getting there. As to if I were to compare between the Mazda R7 or the 787 b obviously I think this one's cooler, but hey, good car from the 1980s or 70s. You guys can you guys can correct me in the comments. I do not know when this car was made. I think it's around the 80s, but enough talking. Our next car is the 1988 Jeep, 1980, yeah, 1988 Jeep Wagoner. I had to read the base here from a different angle. So let's open this truck up. Oh my God, I hate this. All right, so here's the Jeep Wagoner. Probably the least exciting car of the bunch. But again, this is another new and mainline car, I believe. Or this is a new car from this year. I'll have to recheck my work, but I believe this is a new car for this year. So yeah, pretty, pretty decent car overall. Honestly, probably my least favorite out of the bunch, but it's still a decent casting. Got the cool little Baja wheels those little racks that you can use to like store like whatever stuff you have on top but honestly this one's just really not for me on to our last three we got the tesla model y so open this up and big time racing if you do watch this i highly doubt it but if you do not a half bad model, but you guys you guys know my hatred towards Teslas. I do not like Teslas in the slightest. So I'm not gonna say too much of it other than its white appearance, the headlights, the spoke ten wheels. I know y'all can see, but it's blacked out. We got the rear right here. And the tan interior, of course. We've seen this in a bunch of other Tesla castings. Model 3, Model S, Model X, pretty much any single Tesla model that's like this. Our second to last car is the Porsche Panamera Turbo S E Hybrid Sport Turismo. Do not ask why Porsche. Do not ask why I, this is a long name. 
Ask Porsche themselves, not me, okay? I'm the wrong person to ask. Or even ask the hardware team themselves. But enough enough saying that. Let's open this thing. If I can okay, yeah. You know how much I desecrate these things. I I can't get these out. Okay. Porsche Panamera. In this cool red color. You got the black roof over here. I'm very glad to see this car is getting more recognition. Coolest Porsches out there, though I think the Taken's better in my opinion. But hey, this isn't comparing, we're not comparing other cars. Decent Porsche overall. I'm happy to see this car make a return because we haven't seen it for a while since 2020. But otherwise, pretty cool red color. And last and certainly not least, and probably my favorite car of the bunch, even including the five pack, Rimac Nevera or Rimac Nevera as I like to call it. Let's open this sick beast up. Also, while I'm opening this, here's some fun facts. This, the name Nevera is actually it's in production use because this car is now in production. The original name would be Rimac Concept C2 because yeah, they do had a C1, but that's pretty much like, I'm pretty sure it's in production. I'm not sure though. Anyways, Rimac Nevera, coolest, coolest hypercar from Rimac and, oh well, people say it's Rimac, but to me, I like to call it Rimac because yeah, coolest electric car, hypercar ever. And probably the best car in 2023 so far, hands down. I honestly think this is a very sick car. If you guys have not got this car yet, I definitely think you guys need to pick this one up. It is one of the sickest cars out there. Here's the back, you can see the temple works. I know again, it's kind of blurry for you guys, but yeah, you guys can take my word for it. All right, there are our 12 cars we unboxed. The five pack is in the back right here and the seven mainline cars here. Let me know which is your favorite and I will try to keep this series as long as I can. Thank you all for watching. I'll see y'all later. Peace.